They don't know me. Got my eyes on the prize. Are you the trophy? Then it's you. I'm hoping that you smoke. Yeah, I kick game trying to block me like a goalie. I ain't with it. Nah. Let's turn the page now. What's your name, baby girl? They call me sales, ma. They call me sales. Looking good all on the stage, huh? Let's keep it at a minimum. Like, what's your wage, ma? <laughs> I see your glass all empty. Gym game, got you looking all healthy. See them handsome and wealthy. On point, got me thinking about your selfies. <laughs> so, what's next? Drink up, you know bottles on deck Got it all right, I got everything fresh And if she ain't with me, might just the whole set Say it, daddy, let's go Caught up in the way she moves now Smoking up drugs I get it. Uh -oh. No, I need to sit down. Two front and nearly pick like that. Now you can see it. Mm. I mean, look. Okay, guys, excuse my hair. It's been two days since I got my lip pierced. Um, as you can see, it's huge. It's huge, but it's smaller than it was the day after. I didn't even bother to take any pictures, any videos. It wasn't happening. My mouth was like beyond Kylie Jenner. But yeah, it's been two days. Um, it doesn't hurt. Um, I'm kind of scared to like, like when I put on lipstick, I'm scared to like rub it because I'm scared it's gonna hurt. But um, it doesn't hurt. It's a little uncomfortable. Like underneath. It's a flat back, just like this one. Usually they put a flat back for piercings like that. I constantly use my teeth to like push it out because I find when it's in, it rubs here and it's kind of uncomfortable. But yeah, um, the process of getting it done, it didn't hurt. I mean, I thought it was gonna hurt more. As you saw in the video, I was like, ah, it was nothing. <laughs> um, it was not numbed, but it didn't really hurt as much as I thought it would. Like, my belly button hurt a lot more. The top of my belly button hurt a lot more. The bottom didn't really hurt either. So the bottom was, like, almost like this. It wasn't really that painful. But, um, when he switched it, like, he pushed out the needle and put in the jewelry. Oh, my God. That kills. But that hurts on every piercing when they switch it. It kills. No, no joke. It doesn't really hurt. It doesn't hurt, it's just uncomfortable. My lips get really dry because I can't like moisten it. Like, I'm scared to rub my lips together. But you could definitely tell that the swelling is going down because I could finally move a little bit more. <laughs> now, what I have to figure out is if I want to keep this, should I take off this one? Because there's too much going on, or leave it. Leave it. Take it out. <laughs> I would recommend this piercing. Um, it's cute. I find it's cute. I always liked it, but I was like, how would that look on me? 
Um, my intentions when I got it was to take it out, take this one out, and to keep that. But then now I see it, and I'm like, oh, it doesn't look that bad together, you know? And I don't like disproportional piercings. Like, when people have all their piercings on one side, I'm just like, no. But, I mean, this kind of, you know, the nose ring and this and that, you know? Because I was kind of thinking, okay, what should I pierce? I don't want any more on my face. Because I'm like, if I get my eyebrow, that's like pushing it to the limit. I'd probably get this one. That way it's like that. Um, but I'm I'm glad I got this one. Um, I would recommend it to somebody. To anybody. It's nice. It's sexy. And I'm sure when the swelling goes down, it'd be better. But um, I think I want a smaller like ring. The bar is a good length. Because now that it's the healing is going down, I can feel that the bar will be a good length maybe a shorter one but we'll see um the as for the diamond or whatever it's not a diamond it's just a ball but i'd want a smaller like a diamond but a smaller one um i don't think that's possible because if you get a diamond most likely it's going to be the same as the bar there's going to be no surface so it's going to probably go in the hole the guy told me so I think I'm just gonna have to stick with balls but mm. no pus yet no pus just I've been rinsing my mouth out with that nasty ass mouthwash the yellow one Ugh. I've been rinsing my mouth out with that one and I've been cleaning the outside with this spray I got from Dahlia Masal. It's a tattoo and piercing shop. Um, I'm pretty sure all the tattoo shops have it. But yeah, it's just a piercing after care spray. Don't know what the hell's in it, but it's work. It worked for my belly button, so. I figured, why not? Before I got this, I was using um, sea salt and water, warm water. That works too, but sea salt is not that easy to find. Like the raw sea salt, but whatever. This will do. We'll see how this works. I've been using ice for the swelling. Um, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, any tips on how to reduce swelling, how what to do for better healing, comment. It'll help. Because I doubt this is my last. On my face, it's my last. Definitely no more on my face. But still, for other piercings. I mean, I'm pretty good at taking care of my piercings. Um... The only ones I've had problems with is my tragus because it keeps falling out. So I just like, I did it like five, six times and it keeps falling out. So I'm just like, but healing wise, all my piercings have been good. I haven't did up here in years. I completely gave up on up here because it never heals, like ever. So if you have any tips on how to heal piercings, what you do, Please comment. It'll help me. a smaller like ring the bar is a good length because now that it's the healing is going down I can feel that the bar will be a good length maybe a shorter one but we'll see um the as for the diamond or whatever it's not a diamond it's 
just a ball, but I'd want a smaller, like a diamond, but a smaller one. Um, I don't think that's possible because if you get a diamond, most likely it's going to be the same as the bar. There's going to be no surface, so it's going to probably go in the hole, the guy told me. So I think I'm just going to have to stick with balls, but... No pus yet. <laughs> no pus. Just, I've been rinsing my mouth out with that nasty ass mouthwash, the yellow one. Ugh. I've been rinsing my mouth out with that one. And I've been cleaning the outside with. This spray I got from Dahlia Masal. Tattoo and pierce. Oh. Are you? Too strong and nearly big like that. Now you can see it. Mm. I mean, look. Okay, guys, excuse my hair. It's been two days since I got my lip pierced. Um, as you can see, it's huge. It's huge, but it's smaller than it was the day after. I didn't even bother to take any pictures, any videos. It wasn't happening. My mouth was like beyond Kylie Jenner. But yeah, it's been two days. Um, it doesn't hurt. <laughs> Got my eyes on the prize, are you the trophy? Yeah, that's you. I'm hoping that you smoke. Yeah, I kick game, try and block me like a goalie. I ain't with it. Nah. Let's turn the page now. What's your name, baby girl? They call me sales, ma. They call me sales. Looking good all on the stage, huh? Let's keep it at a minimum. Like, what's your wage, ma? <laughs> I see your glass all empty. Gym game, got you looking all, you looking healthy. all healthy. See them hands and the wealthy. On point, got me thinking about your selfies. <laughs> so what's next? We should drink up. You know bottles on deck. Got it all right. I got everything fresh. And if she ain't with me, might just put the whole set. Say, Shiny, let's go. Caught up in the way she moves now. Smoking up drugs. I'm kind of scared to like, like when I put on lipstick, I'm scared to like rub it because I'm scared it's going to hurt. But um, it doesn't hurt. It's a little uncomfortable. Like underneath. It's a flat back, just like this one. Usually they put a flat back for piercings like that. I constantly use my teeth to like push it out because I find when it's in, it rubs here and it's kind of uncomfortable but yeah um the process of getting it done it didn't hurt i mean i thought it was gonna hurt more as you saw in the video i was like ah that was nothing um it was not numbed but it didn't really hurt as much as i thought it was like my belly button hurt a lot more the top of my belly button hurt a lot more the bottom didn't really hurt either so the bottom was like almost like this it wasn't really that painful but um 
when he switched it, like he pushed out the needle and put in the jewelry. Oh my god. That kills. But that hurts on every piercing when they switch it. It kills. No no joke. It doesn't really hurt. It doesn't hurt, it's just uncomfortable. My lips get really dry because I can't like moisten it like I'm scared to rub my lips together. But you could definitely tell that the swelling is going down because I could finally move a little bit more. <laughs> now what I have to figure out is if I want to keep this, should I take off this one because there's too much going on or leave it. Leave it. Take it out. <laughs> I would recommend this piercing. Um, it's cute. I find it's cute. I always liked it, but I was like, how would that look on me? <laughs> um, my intentions when I got it was to take it out, take this one out, and to keep that. But then now I see it, and I'm like, oh, it doesn't look that bad together, you know? And I don't like disproportional piercings. Like, when people have all their piercings on one side, I'm just like, no. But, I mean, this kind of, you know the nose ring and this and that you know because I was kind of thinking okay what should I pierce I don't want any more on my face because I'm like if I get my eyebrow that's like pushing it to the limit I'd probably get this one that way it's like that um but I'm I'm glad I got this one um I would recommend it to somebody to anybody it's nice it's sexy and I'm sure when the swelling goes